Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. You may notice that I am not in the place where I've been before. This is my new room starting junior year. If you follow me on Snapchat, you've probably seen the progress of my decorating skills happening here. All thanks to Pinterest, of course. I'd like to take this moment to thank a good friend of my Pinterest for making all my room decorating skills dreams come true. Thank you, Pinterest. You are incredible. Anyways, Mother Teresa was once asked, how did God call you to serve the poor? And she replied, I was not called to serve the poor. Rather, I was called to serve Jesus and he led me there. So proud of Teresa. Good job. Uh, we all hit a point somewhere in our lives, usually somewhere late in high school, junior year, senior year, and afterwards when people start coming up with great questions about what do you want to do with your life? What's your dream job? Where are you going to go to school? So what field are you interested in? What are you going to do with your degree? What are you going to do to get there? Where are you going to go work? Most of the time we have new idea to answer a lot of those questions, especially around high school and even after college, we're still figuring it out. Some people have always known what they're good at and what they want to do and those are really awesome, but I was not one of those people. I didn't know right away what I was passionate about. Most people like me have kind of gaps here and there and we're figuring it out with God. It's a journey trying to collect the pieces in its right time. Really important for you guys to understand you are not alone. And God is not only a big part of this process for you, He is at the center, or at least He should be at the center of the process. So though these questions are great and they're not necessarily bad, we tend to get caught in them so much that sometimes it leads to a lot of self-doubt, feeling like we're behind everyone else, anxiety, stress, all of these things tend to come if you think too much about them. Whenever I tend to focus so much on these questions, my focus would easily go to what was planted in my heart to do and not at all at who put those things in my heart in the first place. For example, I love working with kids, young people, and young women. I just have a total heart for those groups of people. I didn't even realize it. Majority of my time was spent working with kids and I enjoyed it a lot. It's when I come alive, it's when I get excited and passionate. That's just what I enjoy doing the most. So many different job opportunities and roles and responsibilities that I could possibly have that would let me kind of do that. There's not one clear path, there's many. So when I finally got some clarity in what I wanted to pursue in general, there was a whole other can of worms that I had to open because then I had to figure out what within that whole field I wanted to do. It became super tempting to start getting caught up in those questions again. What am I gonna do? Where am I gonna work? What kind of things should I be? looking for. I chose not to. Remember, everything is connected back to God. He's at the center of our lives. He's the sun and he's the foundation. That's when it hit me that God has not called me to serve women and children. God has called me to serve him and he has, as he will continue to, lead me to where my passion for women and children is needed. That comes first. Serving him comes first. And then he will lead you to where your skills and the gifts that he has given you is needed. If we had everything handed to us, if we had everything figured out, at least for me, if God had given me a book saying, here Kelly, this is what I'm wanting to do, this is the process of you getting there, this is the places where I'm gonna send you, I would easily start thinking that I don't need you. God. I don't want you to be a part of this journey with me. I'm not going to even ask you anything. I have everything I need, so I don't need you. And God wants us to walk with him. He wants us to trust him every single day and every step of the way. So he doesn't give us all the steps right away, but he does guide our steps one at a time. So whatever your passion is, math, people, cooking, singing, fitness, whatever it is, trust that the one who put that in you is the same one who will also lead you in using it for others. John 12 26 says, whoever serves me must follow me and where I am my servant will also be. My father will honor the one who serves me. Matthew 6 33, but seek first his kingdom and his righteousness and all these things will be given to you as well. And lastly 1 Peter 4 10, 
Each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others as faithful stewards of God's grace in its various forms. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I want to say a special thank you to all of you who have reached out and told me about how God has been using these videos in your life. I get to share with others what God is doing here. It's just beautiful to be a part of your life as God is growing you individually. Do your part and let God do His. If you like this video, please click the thumbs up down below. Make sure you also leave your comments down below before you go. I always say this, but I'm going to say it again because it's always true. I love reading them. So make sure you leave your comments down below. If you haven't yet, and now you're really questioning if you should join this channel. We are a growing family of Christians supporting one another and just loving and embracing each other. One last thing is that because of my schedule this year, I will be posting videos regularly every other Friday. That way I can manage it and continue to share everything that I'm learning with all of you guys. With all that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Behave, be good, and I hope you all have a great back to school season. Bye guys. Thank you.